Super Bowl. To bring it to you, let's rejoin Brandon and Charles. Let's just feel it at the goal line. Muscles him off. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. They'll come out in the pistol. Now a handoff here to his running back. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at him turn. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven. Leaves him with a second and three. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. Now they'll throw here, out of the gun. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. And the offense lining up first and ten. And they'll go on the ground. Found a little room there as he's up to about the 37. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. It's been a struggle this entire game trying to move the ball on the ground. But every now and then you find a little chink in the armor. And that type of run right there lets them know that they can't stop every single run for almost no game. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. He's going to loft one, deep left. It's caught inside the 25. And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. A big play there. 62 yards. And the Bills are an extra point away from tying the football game. Well, that was the fly route for a touchdown, and since he caught that one and scored it, I got to tell the story. Before the game, we were standing there. He was running deep routes, dropped one. It bounced up and just hit me right in the gut. I said, come on, man, but there, there was no drop. Yeah, you okay now? I'm good. All right, I'm good. good. We got the ice pack up here. You're, you're just fine. What I loved about it was the subtlety of the route because everyone knows he's fast. I'm going to play him for that route first and foremost, but sometimes it's a head fake. It's varying your speed off the line of scrimmage. It's giving the defensive back different angles to think about. Is he going inside? Is he going outside? And then, as you noted, he just took off past him. Oops, there he goes again. The one running back is Gurley. And he'll get it up the middle. And he'll find some space up to about the 25. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. But we all know the guy carrying the ball is going to get the credit, both in the stat line and probably in the newspaper. But guess what? Those guys creating holes, they couldn't feel better about themselves right now. Offensive line, tight end, probably even the wide receivers are involved. They're moving the ball well. He'll drop to throw. And he's got it. Got his man on the end route. Complete. A really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. One of the selling points of the in route is it gives the quarterback a really nice sight line to his receiver and almost on a direct shot, able to throw the ball into the middle of the field and have a great chance of success as they did on that play. Yet another carry here tonight for Gurley. Two yards on the pick up there. It'll be second and eight. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. Again, we'll see the pistol here. Now it's Gurley. And he is going to lose yardage here. It's a loss of two. Now third down. It's not always as trade as that team wanted it more than the other. But on that play, it actually was true. They were faster to the ball. We've got a third and 11. It's a five receiver set. Three to the left, two to the right. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Throwing 
left side, it's complete. Touchdown, L.A. Their big-bodied receiver, 61 yards. And the Rams have broken our tie as they take the lead. And they just ran the fly route there, didn't they? You broke it down perfectly. He ends up catching that one and taking it all the way into the end zone. Well, thanks. It was pretty simple to break down, though. I mean, that's just a guy going, running on the go route, making a play. Speed, kills. speed, <laughs> speed. And what does it do? It kills. There you go. And it's good. That makes it a 28-21 game. The Rams kickoff team on the field. And here we go with the ball in the air. Fielded about a yard deep. And this return nets positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. And they'll go ground game here with a tailback. And he powers his way up past the 30. Gets a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. No, that wasn't an explosive run. That wasn't one that took it all the way to the house. But, boy, for a team that's had trouble running it the entire game, that's the kind of run they need, hopefully, to get themselves kick-started. Four down, four down. Let's go! The play-action fake. They'll look to throw. Over the middle, he's got Watkins. And he takes this one all the way across midfield into enemy territory down to the 40-yard line. And at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their playmaker, and they did. I think you're exactly right. I don't think the coordinator's looking at his play sheet and trying to figure out which play will work well. He's trying to figure out how to get the ball to the playmaker that you just described. Looking down at that sheet, you find people plays, not necessarily X's and O's, and that's exactly what they did there. And he'll give it here to his running back. And some space here. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. And give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. Just what you want on a first down run, call it eight yards, and it's second and two. And that's the kind of run that gets everyone excited on offense. And you know, oftentimes, the guys who carry the ball are the ones in the huddle doing the chirping. Right now, I think it's the offensive line telling them, run it again. We are right there, about to break a big one. Here we go. Going to give this time to the tailback. And this is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight-yard line. And they'll lose a yard that time, and that's going to lead to a third down. That play never go. got off the ground because of the defensive front. They owned the offensive line, which allowed the linebackers to see their openings and run straight to the ball. That's why that play just never had a chance. And right now, I take my rudimentary kindergarten skills and draw where the tackle box would be because that was close. I thought he was in the tackle box. He has to be very careful where he gets rid of the football from that spot. Yeah, they say there was a receiver in the area, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's always a receiver in the area. And the 10-year bet knocks it through the goalpost, and the drive will wind up yielding three. So the drive takes him inside the 10, but it ends with just three. And a nice job defensively to rise up and make sure they didn't get in. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This is taken at his four. Then he breaks it all the way out to the 38-yard line. Great return. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Now a play fake here on first down. Surveying the field. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Preston Brown in there to bury him for a loss of 11. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. 
you have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. after a fairly minimal pickup. They get two yards back, but they're going to need a lot more than that here on third down. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And he finds a man with a crossing route. There he goes, right side. Touchdown, L.A. Their dangerous wide receiver, 71 yards. And the Rams add on to their lead. I know these wide receivers are about flash and dash and high-flying plays, but a good number of them played running back at some point in their career, and that's how they finish off a lot of their big plays, run after the catch. And this time he finishes off the big play in the end zone. Now Franks for the extra point. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. Scoring summary. Three-play drive. And the result for the Rams, a touchdown. kickoff team on the field and here we go with the ball in the air this is taken at his four and he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28 yard line there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down well they went for the big play there but that drop could really hurt their momentum and on the outside they're playing press coverage here we go Brad, 38. they'll give it to him right up the gun across the 30 to the 31 yard line it's a gain of about three but it's going to leave them with third and still seven yards to go is caught by Watkins and he's taken down but not before getting this across midfield and just shy of the 40. One of the feature points of the end route is being able to make a nice throw to the middle part of the field and for a quarterback that's one of the better throws and better looks that he'll get but he has to be careful not to wait too long and let his receiver wander into some tough territory. If he's late with the ball he can get his receiver hit and hit hard. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. It's a five receiver set. Three to the left, two to the right. Now Jones. And he's got his man on the out route. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Three yards to go here on second down. They come up in an offset eye. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll go down at the 28. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. 
Well, that was a unit that understood exactly where the first down marker was, handed it to their guy who could run it, created some space, and he got there. Fresh set of downs here. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And a loose football. And his guys will take over at the 25-yard line. The psychology of the game never ceases to amaze me because you would think there would never be a fumble from what we hear from coaches all the time, right? And how much they practice not fumbling. Practice it, preach it, talk about it all the time. You would think no one would ever turn it over. Yet they are humans out there running around. And we just saw another one. Opportunistic by the defense. They go play action here on first down. And he will find his man on the outside. The completion good for three, and it's second down. I'm wondering if the same thing went through your mind as mine. When I see a big man like that make a catch, all I keep thinking to myself is, big man with football. <laughs> Look out, everyone. He may not juke you a whole lot, right? He may not run past you because of his size. You're talking about a guy weighing in the 270 range. But boy, once he gets his mitts on the ball, he's going to be tough to bring down. The one running back is Gurley. Back to throw. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Charles, a couple extra defensive backs in here on third and one. Not expecting them to run it at all. They'll set up to throw. He's got time. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Here's Johnny Hacker now. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. Partner, how many times have you heard it? Pressure creates diamonds, right? <laughs> but it also bursts pipes. And on that one, that's what they got. They got after him, and he was fortunate just to get rid of it. Yeah, he just had to chuck it away. And tough starting field position here. Let's go! Red 38! They'll give it to him right up the gut. And a short gain here as he gets it up only to about the six. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he's going to be taken down shy of the 10, right around the 9-yard line. Only a gain of a couple there. That leaves him needing about 7 here on third down. Let's go! Watch on third down, he'll drop to throw. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he's able to pick up the first before he's taken down at the 27. One quarter remains here in the Super Bowl. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. The Bills have the football, but they trail here as we begin quarter number four. First down, he'll drop to throw it, finding time. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. That one will set him back nearly 10 yards here on first down of the sack. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Let's go! Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. Surveying the field. And that's incomplete. running down 
Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Is this intercepted? It is. It's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And they have possession, and they have it at the 38-yard line. Well, you're trailing. It's the fourth quarter, and you've got to throw the football. But the defense knows this, too. So they're just going to sit back, bring in an extra defensive back or two, the old nickel or dime strategy, Brandon, and wait for you to put that bad boy up for grabs. And this one winds up being intercepted. And a great spot to start this drive from here. They come up in an empty set. Four wide receivers, one tight end. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Throwing the slant pattern here complete. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. So this brings up a second and two. The one running back is Gurley. He'll look to throw. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. The good signal calls would never go back in the huddle and play the blame game because they need those guys to protect him. But on that last one, his offensive line, they lost their leverage very quickly. And that's why they were able to get to him and hit him as he tried to throw the football and force an incompletion. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. Well, he didn't make headway on that one, but he's had plenty of carries all night long. I just wonder if maybe he's a little bit tired from toting the rock that much. It's blocked. It's picked up. A live ball here, remember. Here's the defense for Los Angeles as they head out to set up shop. And now Big Mo's wearing a shirt of their color. They're hoping to continue that momentum in their direction, but maybe another pick. Who's Big Mo? He's momentum, right? Momentum. And right now... He's hugging them. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Aaron Donald. In there for sack number 127. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Off the play fake. He'll look to throw. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. A very solid gain of 27. But we haven't been shortchanged on offense. Watch left, watch left. Tight end to the left, tight end to the left. Let's go. Brad 38. Brad 38. Throwing Jones. And he's got his man on the out route. That throw good for four. It's second down. Completed pass play. Now let's see if they go back to the air or to the ground. Here we go. Brad 38. Brad 38. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And he will find his man on the end route. Complete. 11 yards for number 11. And passing yardage wise, now up over 350 in this game. Pretty nice performance. Definitely that, which usually means you're putting a lot of pressure on guys trying to cover. If you're a defensive back and they put over 350 yards on you, you've had a long day. The key to everything, if you're doing it without throwing interceptions or turning the ball over. Now Jones. He's got time in the pocket. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out, incomplete. Watkins alone on the left side. Here we go. One, nine, six, He'll try again with the arm here on second down. And he's got it. Got his man on the end route. Complete. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. 
Got to get to the 26 for a first. This is third down. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. On third down, he'll drop to throw. He's got time. And he'll just toss it away. So he throws it away, and that brings up fourth down. And nobody was open downfield there. It looked like a pretty clear throw away. Yeah, definitely was that. I'm wondering why there wasn't intentional grounding. Try it here. He's back to throw. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Their big tight end. His second touchdown of the Super Bowl. And the Bills draw a bit closer. Wow, talk about a big fourth down conversion for the score defensively. How do you let that happen? Yeah, I think you start with the offense and you give them credit for going for it and having that type of well, let's face it, audacity. But defensively, I think you're right on target, partner. There's no way something like that's supposed to happen in that situation. You're supposed to be able to shut that down. So now an important conversion attempt here as the Bills line up to go for two. They'll try and throw for it. And unable to connect. They don't get the two-point conversion here. Protection was great. He had time to set up a campsite. But in the secondary, though, they were ready. And I think that in most places on the field, if you have that much time to throw the ball, someone's going to shake free and you'll find an open receiver. But condensed near the goal line on a two-point conversion, all that exit, you know, there's not any extra field. So it kind of closes in on them, and that allows you to cover a little bit better. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This will be taken in at the one. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And last time out, another missed field goal. So maybe their confidence wavering a little bit right now in the kicking game. And I'm with you on that. I think at this stage, they'd love to not run him back out there in a tough situation. But let's face it, they may have to. So right now, the head coach is talking to the offense coordinator and saying, call this game like we're going to put it in the end zone. Let's try and take the field goal out of it. A couple of Bills team up to bring him down there. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take, puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. Nine yards to go. It's third down. They'll look to throw to the sideline, and oh, a nice catch there. Made sure the feet were inbounds, and they were. Can you do any more work or make it more dramatic for not much gain than what we just saw there? Did you see how his toes got down? Tip-tap, tip-tap, got him down. What would he get out of it? He sold the sizzle. He just had no stake. <laughs> I mean, was it one yard? Yeah, you plays like that, you at least expect a first down there, just one yard. Here's Johnny Hacker now. On for his second punt. He'd take a repeat of his first. Oh, they come after him, and it's blocked. Now scooped up inside the 20. Well, they need a touchdown here in the fourth in a one-score game, and that block punt, that really helped. And it doesn't matter whether it was schemed that way or someone made a great individual effort or there was a breakdown. They got exactly what they needed, and right now, in this field position, they've got to be in attack mode on offense. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And they're going to need another score. Got one last time, but still down here. When you're playing catch-up, 
every possession becomes crucial, doesn't it? It's vital. Get back out on the field, punch in the end zone again. They know it's not easy, but what they do have going for them, they did score the last time. They think they've got a good formula working. And what about the defense? Well, now you're just saying to yourself, okay, we gave up a score last time. What adjustments do we need to make to slow them down now and get the ball back for our own offense? Is it more pressure? Is it more zone? What do they have to do? They're trying to figure that out themselves. We'll see if they can figure that out right here. And he's going to get hit at the line of scrimmage and driven backwards. They'll lose a yard, and it brings up third. Yeah, let me pump out my chest a little bit. Even though I'm not rooting for either team, that was a really nice defensive play. It's awfully fun to watch, even in an offensive game. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. So third down and defensively, the Rams have added two extra DBs. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. His pass caught at the four. Nine yards on the play there, and it sets him up first and goal. And he's the epitome of what we call the move tight end. A guy that you can line up anywhere, in the slot, out wide, in tight. Doesn't really matter because he has such great skills. You want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing offense. And there he was in the slot for the catch. And they'll go with a ground attack here. And this one will wind up with him losing yardage. Back to the four-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Hey, a lot of points have been scored in this game, but what a nice play by the defense. Stepping up on that one. Maybe they'll get things going in their direction after a play like that. Here we go. One, nine. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll be stopped about a yard shy of the goal line after a pickup of about three. So now things get interesting on third and goal from the one. This almost becomes a Darwinian call, doesn't it? Almost survival of the fittest here. I know we can go all cliche. I'll go ahead and do it. Who wants it more here? Who has a better leverage at the line of scrimmage? Let's go and see what happens. Brandon, it's easy to make decisions from right up here where we are, right in the cheap seats, but let's be frank about this one. This isn't even a decision as far as I'm concerned. They have to go for it here. Field goal does you almost no good. It's time's running out in the game. If you want to win, you have to be aggressive here. They'll give it to him right up the gun. And he's going to be stopped up right at the line of scrimmage. The run is turned away on fourth and goal from the two. And this Rams defense comes up with a goal line stand. And now trotting back out with the rest of his offensive mates, the big tight end. And we see here the productivity certainly has decreased from the start of the game, but sometimes people forget these tight ends. They can do more than just catch the football. That is so true because now when things start to happen and you're not getting the ball as much, maybe you change your focus on the game. Maybe you become a very good decoy. Maybe you block a little bit more. But sometimes you have such a great first half, you expect it to continue to roll, and it doesn't just happen that easily in the second. Now they have been able to shut him down, at least as of late. Let's go! One, nine, five, five. And a nice pickup as this one gets him to the 10-yard line. It's a gain of six, moves him to a manageable third and two situation. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up in the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. He'll look to throw, and he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. Here's Johnny Hacker now. Remember, though, he did have one blocked earlier. Every time I see a hitch pattern dropped, I go back to the combine because there's a drill they use all the time that's called the gauntlet drill where a receiver catches the ball and just works his way straight down the line and catches it from different sides. And the problem with that drill is that you don't actually have to secure the catch. You just kind of catch it, drop it immediately, and keep moving. And sometimes that shows up on plays like this. Out comes the Rams defense now as they get ready for the next possession. And you got to think both sides are remembering what happened the last time these two units were out there, that goal line stand. The battle for the line of scrimmage, always key. But on a fourth down play, who's going to win that one? We talk about leverage so often. The little man's going to win that and maybe make a big play. But it really took all 11. There he goes, left side. And home for the Bills touchdown. A big play there. His second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Bills have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. 
Well, after another passing touchdown, I don't think it'd be an understatement to say that he's in the zone, and I believe he likes it. Now a big two-point conversion attempt still to come. They'll look to throw. And no, incomplete. They can't convert. So they tried to bump the lead up to a field goal. Instead, it stays at one here in the fourth. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This is taken at the three. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means they're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. They call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible. Hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. Back to throw now on first down. Looking left side and it's complete. Touchdown, LA! Their big body receiver, his second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Rams have taken the lead here in the fourth. And how about that giving us our fifth lead change of the game? It's been back and forth. No doubt about it. And right now, they're ahead, but they can't relax at all because if we've had five lead changes, I'm kind of betting on a six. Yeah, we might see a six. Here we go now as we get set for a big two-point conversion. Here we go. Right 38. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Is incomplete, so they can't convert for two. And now the lead stays at five. Tough there. Good pass. Hit the hands. He just couldn't bring it in. And every receiver's coach everywhere. Seeing that play, focus, focus, focus. Watch it all the way in and tuck it away. is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. Oh, the spin. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. Now the Bills offense gets ready to head back onto the field. And following that long touchdown pass, a one-play drive last time, Let's see if the defense, you, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. And you would have thought they would have been ready the yeah, last that's time. That's I mean, true. that's what you work on all the time. Make sure that no one gets behind you. That's the cardinal sin of defense, not giving up the Here long pass. They did. Let's see how they adjust. Now Jones. Sideline throw. It's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right? Whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case the feet, did a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. The offense certainly looking to score some points, but they also need ball security here late as we get down to the final moments of this one. Throwing Jones. Finding time. And incomplete. He had nowhere to throw, so he just tossed it away. But that brings up fourth. 
I'm not sure we could spot any tendency here on this third down. They could have run it or passed it. Either one was available. They chose to try and get it through the air, but they run successful. Oh, they come after him, and it's blocked. Now this is scooped up inside the 20, and they are going to get the football here with possession 13 yards away from the end zone. Well, there's nothing like taking a lead and making a play that could increase the advantage. That block punt and where they picked up the football, that gives them a chance to really take a commanding lead here. Yeah, so you've already got the three, but you know they're thinking touchdown, right? Have to. Know the three is there. Don't do anything to jeopardize it. But take your shots to try and increase your lead and make it substantial. They come out here in the eye. Now a handoff for Gurley. And strong running there as he's inside the 10 and down to the 8-yard line. Time for a break. We're back to perhaps crown a champion after this. So it's Rams football here as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Here we go. One, two, one. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And this is caught. And that could seal it. It's a touchdown. And this is obviously quite a performance. And most of the time when we talk about someone putting a team on their back, I think we're talking about a, a guy who runs the football. In this case, it's a guy out wide catching it, and he's done exactly that, truly leading his team right now towards victory. Three touchdown catches. He's been the headliner. Still an important piece of business to take care of, the extra point. And this one gives his guys a 12-point lead. They had the short field, and they made quick work of it. Just two plays to get into the end zone. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Now the Bills offense gets ready to head back onto the field. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not, He's not a team anymore. I just cut it. All right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Oh, poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But, so, hey, listen, if some guy, there's got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. It looked like he might have had a window there, but the rhythm was just a little bit off. It certainly was because everything that has to come together to get a pass completed... Yeah, you're right. The sink just wasn't there. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. All that practice time came to fruition on that play. All those timing routes that they work on through training camp, OTAs, mini camp, and just regular season, they got it done on that one. An out cut, ball was delivered, and picked up the completion. Out of the gun now on third down. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. If they're going to have a shot in this Super Bowl, they're going to need this one on fourth down. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Rams get the football in outstanding field position. So with that, we can just about close the book on this one, Charles. Yeah, what's the old expression about slim and none? Well, slim just left town on that <laughs> They're one. down to none? Yes, exactly right. And the Rams getting set to go now. And that recipe on their last drive that resulted in a touchdown 
looked pretty good, so they'll be hoping to do that once more. It takes me back to when we sat with the offensive coordinator and the head coach. They felt pretty good about their game plan and thought there were some holes in the defense and they exploited them the last time out. Let's see if they can come back and put together a similar drive. And we'll see if they can do... Now the Bills will take another timeout. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. So the run gets them the first, and now they operate with a fresh set of downs. The one running back is Gurley. That one looks like he'll throw here. And he's going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. Their big tight end, a nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Rams add on to their lead. They had the lead in the fourth, but still passing. Finding the big target for the touchdown. Now that lead grows even more. Everybody gets to join in the fun. You know, it doesn't have to just be the wide receivers catching touchdown passes. The tight end doesn't just have to do just the dirty work inside. He gets a chance to get into the end zone as well. Franks to add the PAT. And that one makes this a 19-point game. Well, that drive started with not a whole lot of real estate in front of them in plus territory. Excellent field position. Two plays later, pay dirt. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This is fielded at the goal line. Ooh, with a juke. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shot at the 23-yard line. And now out come the Bills. They're down big here late. I don't know, you just one last drive here for pride? Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge, and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's <laughs> get out up. of here and do something some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue to, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. They'll look to throw here on first down. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Well, the pressure, the hits, the sacks have been coming at him all game long. I'm frankly surprised that they haven't found a solution yet to create more time for him to throw it or maybe change what they do on offense. And yeah, that's one of the biggest differences in this game and why they're losing right now. Now he'll look to throw here on second and 10. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away. And now it's third. So a third and 10, and defensively, a dime look. Six DBs. Back to throw again. Throwing left side, it's complete. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. And the offense moving quickly to the line. And he'll indeed get him to the line and spike it here to stop the clock. So second and 10 here. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And he will find his man on the outside. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 20-yard line. And he'll indeed get him to the line and spike it here to stop the clock. Offense looking to avoid a third and long. It's second and 10. Now Jones. Looking for someone, and he's going to go down. He's sacked back at the 24. They get to him for a loss of four, and it brings up third down on the sack. And now whistles here and a flag down. Looked like someone got going a little early. Ninth play of the drive now on third and a country mile. Throwing, 
Jones. A battle for it, and it's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Partner, we always talk about possessions being at a premium in these games. And now in this situation, throwing an interception here when you have to claw your way back in, that one's going to hurt, and in a big way. Tough spot here for the offense to start. I got you. I got you. Let's go. Grand 38. Grand 38. On the handoff, it's Gurley. And that gets him a little room as he'll take this up over the 10 yard line. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. The Rams have won the Super Bowl, and they will get the Lombardi Trophy. And to the Super Bowl champions, they etch their name forever in NFL immortality. That's pretty phenomenal right there. It actually gave me chills just to hear you <laughs> say that because immortality forever and ever. When you look in the record books, you'll see this team, you'll see their picture, that your name will be a part of it. That's got to be an incredible feeling because it's been a long journey to get there, and now they get a chance to enjoy it. And they are the Super Bowl champs. The Lombardi Trophy is theirs, and so are bragging rights for an entire season. And what a season it has been. Feels like we have been there every step of the way. Our entire crew doing a wonderful job. Thanks to my broadcast partner, Charles Davis. For all those guys, I'm Brandon Gunn signing off. We'll talk to you next season right here on EA Sports.